Bobby? Your friend of Mr Singh's? Yeah. Yeah. He uh, tells me you might be able to help me with a bit of paperwork that I'm after. What kind of paperwork are you looking for? Well, I believe it may be possible to uh, Hello? say fake my own death. When you mean say a death certificate? Exactly. Uh, can we arrange? So it'll be a genuine death certificate. It's going to be a genuine death certificate. Right. And that's something that I could use for an insurance claim. If you want to. Right. OK. And uh, how much is that going to cost me? Uh, 25,000. Rupees? Yeah, Indian rupees. OK. So, I could take the 25,000 rupees I scammed from the fake medical certificate and use that to pay for my death. And that means, in the end, I could net hundreds of thousands, if not a cool million or so. And that's big business. We arranged to meet in a few hours. As I kill time, I get to thinking how many other tourists Bobby has killed off and how much they've scammed from insurance companies. It's possible Bobby's friendly demeanour is a mask. I must remember this guy operates in a multi-million dollar fraud industry run by serious criminals. How on earth did I get here? Are you early or am I up? Am I late? No, we are on time. OK, come on. Yeah, it's this all, is what you asked for. It's all done? Yeah, it's all done. Oh, my God. It's my... It looks official. It's all countersigned by the... by the, the birth and death authority, registrar. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Yeah. I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, officially, you are. You killed me. It's absolutely staggering. I'm still... I'm slightly taken aback that I've died. I've died on the 27th of January, and yet here I am. Well, I'm getting scared, mate. <laughs> I'm talking to a dead man.